Clark is selfish. Whoa. There's no other way of looking at this. Wow. Here's the WNBA, Chris. You talked about it. Oh, mm-hmm. you know, popularity. Oh, it's got a higher profile. People are talking about it. Gotta stop. I gotta stop, Rob. Y'all know that's Wild Parker, right? That's Wild Parker and Crispy. So I gotta stop him right here. Hearing, hearing, hearing. Y'all, y'all know, Caitlyn fans. What's up? Y'all know what it is, right? What have we been hearing? The pushback about Caitlyn Clark. Um, it's not just one person. It's not just one person. It's not just because of her. There's other great players. There's, you know what I'm saying? So now all of a sudden, though, because Caitlyn is saying, no, nah, I'm about out of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let y'all handle that. Now she's being selfish. This is what I mean. Why I got to call this stuff out. She goes and she goes into the competition. She gets all the hype. She gets all the spotlight. And she's selfish that way too. It's just, okay. I'm, I'm trying not to just load up. But let me say this last thing too. The thing that irritates me about all this now is where we're, I'm not talking about Chris Saw, my brother in Christ. Where was all this er and grr before Caitlyn Clark got into the WNBA? Did he even really cover the WNBA? Does he even really care to that extent? To go this far to call Caitlin Clark selfish. Here you are with a chance to show your skills in this event for the league. And you decide to bow out. What does Caitlin Clark have to show that she hasn't already? He just said it. What, what does Caitlin Clark really have to show that she hasn't shown already? And here's the other thing. Does, is it Caitlin's responsibility to carry the whole entire league? Is it a responsibility? Again... Y'all keep saying it ain't, it ain't about it ain't just about Caitlyn. Caitlyn Clark don't need none of this stuff to shine. She doesn't need any of this stuff to shine. The way she goes and plays the game, she, get, she you know what I'm saying? I said this before. Caitlyn in regular games goes and makes plays that players in All Star games are scared to make. And Caitlyn does, and does this stuff in games all the time. In regular games, guys, all the time. You know what I'm saying? And Caitlyn knows this herself. Like, man, what you talking about, man? I'll be entertaining y'all every time I step up on the court. What you talking about? I have nothing to prove. I'm pretty sure I'll be in a three-point competition for everybody to watch at some point. Not everybody needs to freak out. So, um, But also, like, the roster that we have in the three-point competition is incredible. You look at their percentages, they're all 40% three-point shooters. Like, they're shooting better percentage-wise than I am, so they all deserve it. Biggest thing was just, like, take some rest and make a decision for myself, which is at times can be hard to do, and um, I'm honestly proud of myself for doing that. Stop it. You're telling me, oh, I don't want to do that. What? No! And I, I have a problem with it. It's an event. That she could possibly electrify Chris, get more people, even more eyeballs and stuff. But this is this is this. Oh, I am so. T- ah! Okay, I am so tired of hearing this because on one end people say about Caitlyn she could get more eyeballs on it, but then when she does, y'all don't give her the credit. It ain't just because of her. It ain't just because of her. Like I am so tired of this narrative. Credit, you discredit her. You're almost discrediting everything she's br- she's brought to the WNBA. You got people watching. You're making a video right now because of Caitlyn Clark. Not because of any other WNBA player. Remember, it's not just about you when you become a professional athlete. Who's Chris, go look at some Who's of these about? guys. Who's it about? In other sports. How's this is about? your moment to try to help sell the game. Right? Huh? This is your moment to try to help sell the game. What has Caitlin Clark been doing for the last two years? Do, do, do y'all need to go back and remember how Caitlin Clark put the world on fire when she was going after that record? If anybody has brought any, think about how much Caitlin's brought to the game this soon. And she's only been a pro for three months. But what else does she have to do? Magic tricks? What else does she have to do? Jump through hoops? What else does she have to do? For all these people that were so upset and were so mad. Where were you last year? Where were you the year before? It's not even fair to Caitlin Clark. You basically saying, no, nah, Caitlin, you can't take off time. You're, you're a servant. You need to bow. You need to serve your people. No. She's a basketball player. She's been playing almost a year long. She's tired. She's tired. She's broken records after records after records after records going into the WNBA, being guarded like, you know what I'm saying, like she shat Kobe and Michael Jordan all in one player. She's getting pushed down, getting called names, getting called out her name, all kind of stuff. She's mentally tired. She needs a break. And it's okay. You should tell yourself, whatever your situation is, it's okay to say, I need a break. That's okay. Take care of yourself. And I'm just saying, she blew a golden opportunity. And this is not the Olympics. This is totally different. She gets paid by the WNBA. The WNBA needs Caitlin Clark. And you know what she did? She turned a blind eye to the league. And I think it's a mistake. Did you hear what this man just said? Caitlin Clark is paid by the league. Yeah, but you know what? You know who's paying her more? You know how much she gets paid from the WNBA? The WNBA ain't stacking them, that st- ain't stacking them chips for Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is paid right now because of endorsements. WNBA, WNBA rookie check ain't doing nothing. It ain't moving the needle any type of way. She don't have no obligation to these people. What, 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 what is Caitlyn getting? 50000 50000 That's what she's probably getting from the WBA versus she getting, what, $10 million, $10 million, $5 million a year from, um, from Nike? And, and the WBA is supposed to be her first priority when they're breaking her off the least? 
Make it make. Stop it! Thank you, Chris. Get Thank off you, Chris. your soapbox. Thank you, Chris. Get off your high horse. Thank you, Chris. Get off your self-righteous high <laughs> Let's horse. Go. Let's go, Chris. Let's Hasn't go. Caitlin Clark done enough? Thank you. I mean, my goodness. Ah. The girl is carrying a whole league on her back. For real. And if anybody wants to dispute that, look at the numbers. Her Hold up. I knew that. I didn't know he was going to come with this energy. I did not know he was going to come with this. Stop. Stop it. Exactly, man. Look, my brother in Christ, man, we got to what? We got to speak with integrity. I'm loving this right now. Just exactly. She has the highest rated games on every network the league has ever been on. Every network. She is single handedly. Mm -hmm. And people don't like it. It's not to say she's the first great player. No. She certainly is not. No. She's not even the best player in the league right now. No. Shout out to Asia Wilson. That's Asia Wilson. Big facts. Big facts. But she is single handedly putting this league on the mainstream map. Facts. She is. She's as silly as Wild Parker sounds. It's just how much on point Chris Boussard. I knew Chris had to come with some stuff, man. I knew he had to come with some stuff. And he is coming with the fire. What, what Caitlin has already done to the WNBA, let's keep it real, is most is more than what most other WNBA players have done. Because all these WNBA players, they think they did something because they won a national championship. That's what they, you think you did something. I, I won three. I won four national championships. But nobody was watching. Caitlin Clark got people watching. Period. Thank you, Chris. So Reese is playing great. And she's got a little storyline, too. But don't get it twisted. No. I just said it. The ratings, the viewership, the attendance, all shows. Mm -hmm. Caitlin Clark is carrying the league. Period. And she has gone from her NCAA season, NCAA tournament, straight into the WNBA. Exactly. exactly. Now she's going to, you know, get a, her first break in a year. Darn near a year, it feels like. Yep. You know, but just all the stuff that Caitlin has had to go through, the hate that Caitlin has had. You know how exhausting it is? To, and here's the thing that I wonder people recognize about Caitlin. Do you realize that Caitlyn always keeps her head up? She always keeps her head up despite the enemies, despite what this person says, despite what this person says. She, don't, she never gives back that bad energy. She never gives back bad energy. Even though bad, bad energy is constantly coming at her, she never gives it back. Do you know how exhausting that is? You know, I'm a, I'll, I'll say in, with, with the Bible calls, right? The Bible says to turn the other cheek. But you know how exhausting that is? To people to be constantly coming at you and you just hold your head up high and smile and continue to say the right thing. It takes high character, um, it, but it also takes a lot of energy. She has had certainly more pressure mm -hmm. and more of a burden on her these last few months than, than any player in the WNBA, for sure. Period. And it's arguable, any basketball player in America. Yeah. She, she can't take a night off right now. No. no I love, not this year. I absolutely right, that's what just I'm saying. Love There's it. no reason she can't take yeah. a night off. Chris Boussard right, put uh, Rob go. Parker in his place, recognizing what Caitlin has already brought to the game. And, you, you know, like I said, the narrative I'm so tired of, she can bring more eyeballs. She can do this. She's actually doing that, and people still discredit her. And ain't because of that. It's because of her race. It's because of that. It's not, it's not the simple fact that this woman is just amazing on and off the court. And the other thing that just really baffles me is how... You know, people get so upset. Understand this. It's like you're going to get this upset over a decision that she made for her. What well, ain't about just her. Guys, it is. If you don't take care of yourself first, you can't help nobody else. You can't help anybody else if you don't take care of you. And so it, it just always baffles my mind how people get, get so upset at decisions that other people make for themselves. You know, Rob Parker would never let anybody come in and tell him what he does and does not need. He wouldn't allow it because he knows only he knows what he needs. Only Caitlyn knows what she truly needs. And that's what she's doing. We got to respect it. Take a risk, don't never take a break. Never make it.